uh, Haiti, first time submitting a topic. In the US, there is uh, currently around a $100 price difference between a 2TB PS5 NVMe drive and the proprietary 2TB Xbox Series memory cards. I don't see much coverage from news outlets about this price discrepancy for storage upgrades. Microsoft's choice to go proprietary made sense at the time, but maybe now they should be strong-arming partners such hmm. as uh, Western Ooh. Digital to lower the pricing of the memory cards. The cost of storage has gone down sector-wide since 2020, and the Xbox storage expansions are only down 15% as of this comment. I've both an Xbox and a PlayStation 5 console, but find myself buying multi-platform games on the PlayStation 5 simply because the storage upgrade was cheaper. That's an interesting perspective. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, basically flash memory has collapsed in price and SSDs. I keep buying them for some reason because they're so cheap. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like, what, what, £30 for one terabyte Samsung 980 Pro? I'm having that and I bought two of them in actual fact. Um, but yes, this has sort of um, highlighted an issue, which is that I think the PlayStation 5 solution has turned out to be somewhat prescient. Um, in that, you know, storage upgrades for that system are very, very cheap. And it turns out that, you know, the high-spec drives we were worried about the prices of are now dirt cheap, you know, a couple of years on. We haven't seen that kind of downscaling in pricing from the more proprietary Xbox solutions. But I do like the Xbox solution in that it does something that PlayStation 5 does not, in that you can take the drive yeah. out. You can put it in another machine. It's really, really useful. So it's, you know, six of one, half dozen of another. Thoughts on this one, John? Yeah, I mean, that's, I, lo I love the form factor on that Xbox drive. I think it's super cool. And it's especially useful for us having Series S and Series X to test, right? Since you can pop yeah. the drive out and put it in another machine and kind of go back and forth like that, uh, which is cool. It's like a little cartridge. But yeah, I think we kind of, I think, I believe we've talked about this back when these systems launched that this was likely going to be the case you know when you do a proprietary yeah. format prices aren't going to collapse in the same way or they're not going to go down and there's no reason for them to them really uh it's actually interestingly this is the same problem that sony faced with the vita and i think it's the thing that actually helped kill the vita so they had this stupid proprietary memory cards that cost just an absurd amount of money like compared to the equivalent sd card it was just ridiculous like two, three, four times more expensive. And they're not even that reliable. So, mm -hmm. Which the Xbox yeah. One is, by the way, uh, in comparison from what I understand. Uh, the only downside of the Sony solution for PS5, though, is that there is a little bit of more of an onus on the user to choose the, a great drive. And even if it is within spec, yeah. the, it's not always a perfect it, um, performance. Like, I have a, a drive in my PS5 that is absolutely within the spec, but... There are some games that have issues running off of it for some reason. Like I can counter that Gran Turismo 7 problem where it would just crash. Like you try to load a race right. and it just crashed the dashboard over and over again. It would lock up the whole system sometimes. And then I discovered just moving it off to the internal drive fixed it. And other people have reported wow. this too. And every time that they're like, dude, what do I do? It's crashing. And I say, copy to the internal drive. They do that. And it's like, oh, it works. So there's something mm -hmm. weird with some drives on the PS5. Maybe it's overheating. Maybe it's just not quite up to spec despite what's printed on the tin. I don't know. But there is a little bit of a fiddliness there that you don't have to worry about with the Xbox side. 